go back to UG and click on select material clear selection and you can see that uh, AEL steel is here and so many other uh, library parts are there you can select any one of it and when you select this automatically all the values under this is set you can see that we cannot edit the uh, any uh, nothing other than relief depth and relief fit and go to tool ID selection in tool ID selection we have already set uh, we have uh, let's say a company has uh, already manufactured few press tool to do a menu and we are given proper name for it and we have uh, and that press tool you can do a V bending with a 60 degree angle plus uh, uh, let's say bend radius of 0.5 so these type of uh, standard tools are set in this library where we can play around with the thickness we can edit the thickness but we cannot edit the bend radius or angle or anything or either the uh, bend definition methods so uh, based on the tool you can do the product development next is flat pattern treatment flat uh, pattern treatment is one way of uh, removing the sharp corners of the developed part you can either do a chamfer or a radius or keep it as it is for example uh, the outside corner treatments and the inside corner treatments I have kept as chamfer and I given as value as uh, 0.5 click apply click OK then uh, go to menu view layout replace view and click flat pattern now you can see all the edges which outer inner and all is uh, properly chamfered next setting we can use callout function so if you want during drafting of this part let's say in detailing you want to when you call out the uh, bend radius you want so many other callouts also to come along the note to be visible in the sheet so you can set which all callouts you want to uh, bring into the sheet when you do the detailing you can set that and click OK next is um, flat pattern validation this sheet metal validation is mainly used for uh, creating a code of like design for manufacturability where you cannot use uh, 